Right now, though, the 290 appears to be pretty much back to normal after a crash during the morning rush. It involved a school bus carrying special needs students and did send several people to the hospital. Most Buffalo's Dave McKinley has the very latest for us now from ECMC, where the most serious of those injured were taken today. Dave. And we were told the only one seriously hurt in the crash was a bus aide who at last check here a few minutes ago remains hospitalized here in serious condition. Now this crash between the bus and a pickup truck happened on the 290 eastbound between Harlem Road and Main Street at about 740 this morning. Five children, mostly just shaken up, were taken in to be evaluated at Oshai Children's Hospital. We were told the driver of the bus and the other vehicle involved were unharmed, but emergency responders who had to deal with rush hour traffic while minding their own safety the captain of the Amherst Police Department's traffic division explains how they think this all went down. One was trying to merge into traffic and seemed to lose control and strike the bus, which caused it to tip over and then go into the ditch. And it was the green pickup truck that was trying to merge into traffic? Uh, yeah, it was a pickup truck, though, the other vehicle that was involved. The five children on board were bound for school at the Beyond Learning Center, a special needs school in Chictawaga, formerly known as the Cantalesian Center. Now, we did reach out to the school, but they told us that at this point, uh, they weren't prepared to have anyone speak on camera. However, they did send a statement which read in part, and I quote, any families with students on board were notified as soon as we became aware of the situation. We also reached out to first student today. That was the operator of the bus. We're still waiting to hear back from them. On your side outside of ECMC, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.